Alright guys, he's Inky here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. So, in today's video, I am going to be touching on a subject that possibly I should have touched on a few days ago, but I didn't, so I'm doing it today. Happy days, that's how we go. So, what I'm going to be talking about is, I am going to be talking about the Supreme Fist, and more importantly, I am going to be talking about the Legendary Temple, okay? Because there is a somewhat... I want to say sense of disappointment with some members of the community, some a little bit worse than others, shall we say, and obviously I get where it's coming from. I might not necessarily agree with the general sentiment, but I do understand where it's coming from. It is very much a case of you see something, you can't do something, you want something, it's not fair. right? So, this tower, let me just go over really quickly the rules of this tower. To do this tower, you need to own a minimum of three legends. We got one legend, Blanca, absolutely free. So, to even attempt to do this tower, you have to have purchased two minimum other legendary units. Only one legend ever has been sold for less than £50 or $50, which was Flame Chun-Li. So the absolute lowest point of entry for money spent on Legends to enter this tower is 80. For a lot of people, it will be 100, okay? Now, there is 100 floors in this tower. Realistically, you will only be able to push it to the same as Master and Inferno. 86 right so just to be clear that is roughly 20 divination tickets okay let me just double check that actually it might be maybe 25 it's 25 right so it's 25 divination tickets for clearing up to the point where you can clear up to right so 25 divination tickets on top of that every alternate floor when you clear this so Floor 5, you'll get 5 divination tickets. Floor 15, you'll get boost stones for your characters, you know, things you use in your fighting spirit. They are specifically legend boost stones, however, okay? So bear that in mind, we'll come back to that, it's important. You get roughly 150 if you get all the way to the end. For where we can realistically get to, you're probably looking at about 120, right? So, you've got your 25 divination tickets, around about 120 boost stones. You get about, I think it's, if you go all the way, it's 40k in break stones. Obviously, you'll get some cash. And in total, for clearing the floors, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, you're looking at 40 EX scrolls, right? Now, there is cash and stuff, and there is obviously some little balls that allow you to boost your gear level, shall we say. But all in, realistically, for someone who gets to the end, okay, you can say that you are going to get, what, value-wise, they charge, what, 50 quid for... 55 tickets, charge 14.99 for 15 tickets. So let's just say the divination tickets are worth about 20, 25 bucks maybe. I think that's fair. With regards to the scrolls, say the scrolls are worth. So all in, you're probably getting about what? 50 quid worth of rewards. Okay, 50 quid worth of rewards. And to get all of them, you're not going to be able to coast through on a team of two legends. You're gonna have to most likely have a full team, maybe even support. So that minimum level of entry that was 80 bucks, now goes up to more than likely 180 bucks. So spend 180, get rewarded less than 50. Okay, you seen that there? So. When free to play players say we're missing out, this isn't fair. 
it's not fair that Wales get this and we don't. Guys, to actually get this, Wales have to have spent exponentially more than they are going to even remotely get back in rewards, right? Now, some of you might argue, but they get the unit. Let's just look at legendary units for a moment, shall we? Out of all of those legendary units, who of them? Who of them are arguably must-haves, right? I suppose Nero is debatable, right? But two of them are arguably must-haves. You see them all the time. One of them was free. The other one was the cheapest one that we've had. And she was undoubtedly the most useful, okay? Other than clearing stages, you don't really ever see this guy anywhere, right? Not really. You never see her anywhere. Unless someone is trying to do something magical, you never see this guy anywhere. And you never see her anywhere. Because these two units specifically suffer the legend curse where they do not make sense. They should do more than they actually do, but they don't. In typical legend fashion, right? That just seems to be how they are, okay? So, in typical whale smooth brain fashion, spending hundreds of pounds on characters to get access to tens of pounds in rewards, it's the same old thing. People wail out on these gacha games, spending maybe a thousand pounds to get the latest units because they need to come first. And then when they come first, the level of rewards that they get is about a hundred bucks, if even that. It's literally like going out and buying a thousand pounds worth of scratch cards, winning a hundred quid, and then being like, yes, I won a hundred quid. No, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. You wasted 900 other quid to get that 100 quid. It's the same here, right? Wales are not actually getting this mega benefit that you think they're getting, that you're missing out on, because first off, for a start, on half the stages, when you get the rewards, so on floor 15, 30, so on and so forth, you are getting legendary boost stones. To even use those stones, you probably need to spend another 50 bucks buying another legend. Because if you had already purchased a legend and they were worth using, I can guarantee you that a spender has already got them to Fighting Spirit 30. So they are being given a reward that is more than likely just going to bait them into spending even more money on another legend. You as a free to play player have no use for them. You don't. You're not going to buy a legend, so you're not missing out. Because what are you going to do with 120 or 150 legendary stones? Apart from look at them every single day you're in your box and hope that they are going to give you another free legend, which seems like it's not going to happen at all, you're going to get nothing out of them. Absolutely nothing, right? You could argue, but they're getting 25 divination tickets. They've spent a minimum of 80 pounds or dollars to get access to even attempt to get those 80 divination tickets or sorry those 25 divination tickets they've not really got them for free they've not right now when it comes to people wailing in gacha games your opinion is free to be whatever your opinion is on that right i ultimately think it's stupid when you when you actually factor in what you get versus what you can get in return, i.e. rewards. It doesn't matter what the game is. It can be this game, it can be Reverse 1999, it can be Black Clover, it doesn't matter, right? What you spend generally maxing out a unit, okay, if you've got to buy the currency, it never comes close to what you get in rewards, okay? If you even look at Street Fighter Duel, if you come first, in all the rankings, you get around about 80 extra special summon tickets, okay? I think that's got a value of around about 150. If you do that 12 times, you've got, what, 1,800 or something? I could have counted that completely wrong, but whatever. Um, you've spent, sorry, about 1,800, right? 
So if you take that and you look at what the average whale has spent to actually get that, they've spent 10 times that. So have they actually won anything? No, they've lost, right? Apart from having, apart from having a, I suppose, pissing competition with other people on the server, there is really no tangible benefit for a whale whaling, right? So them having this little bit of extra content doesn't make any big difference. And at the end of the day, if we're being completely honest here, the games don't run on dreams. They don't run on fucking rainbows, you know? They need money. And if you can entice someone to spend a little bit more money, as a free-to-play player, should you really actively try and discourage that? Because, let's be honest, a lot of people who I've seen saying things like, oh, it's not fair, oh, they shouldn't do this, it'll drive people away, blah, 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 are the same people who will say, oh, the game's not probably not got long left, it doesn't make much money, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, because you don't spend money. <laughs> Like, there's only a very small proportion of players that spend money and you actively are trying to dissuade the company from making content that might attract the more smooth-brained amongst us to spend a little bit of money just to get an extra legendary character to be able to do this. I don't necessarily think it's a bad idea. Ultimately, I feel like this very much comes down to a, a very poor mindset of me want, me get. It shouldn't be like that, because at the end of the day, not everything is available to every single player, and I don't actually think that's a bad thing. i seen Pika recently say that it isn't really fair to reward some spenders and not others, because you've got players who maybe have done five dollars worth of purchases each week they can't access the legendary tower and they're still spenders yes yeah, it's not called the spenders tower it's not called the i bought a a one dollar refresh each week so let me in tower it's called the legendary tower if you don't buy legendary characters you can't access the tower i don't make the rules it's like you don't buy a PlayStation and automatically get PlayStation Plus. Even though you've supported PlayStation, you have to buy that specific thing to get the games from PlayStation Plus. So it doesn't matter that you've put money into Sony and supported the PlayStation. You haven't bought the specific thing that allows you access to the other specific thing. That's what this is. You have to have bought legendary characters to get access to the legendary temple. And the rewards are doo-doo. So don't get your knickers in a twist. Don't worry about it. Honestly, the value that you get from this tower ultimately boils down to 25 divination tickets and 40 EX summoning scrolls. 40 EX summoning scrolls might seem like a lot, but if you get one, one copy, one 30 shard copy of a card, you've done well off of those 40 scrolls. The value is nothing at all worth getting jealous about. And the only way that it can seem like good value to you is if you got it for free. But people are not getting it for free. They've had to buy doo-doo characters because, again, other than Chun-Li, none of the rest of them are worth it. Maybe they'll have the odd niche use, but there's actually other characters available within either the Master, Inferno, or Standard Pool that will do the job better. Other than Flame Chun-Li, no one can actually say that picking up the legendary units has been a smart choice because they are all pants, absolutely pants. So rather than putting out this sense of entitlement, which hate me for saying it all you want, that is what it seems like to me of that's not fair, they get it so I want it. Rather than that, just look at, the, look at it a different way. These people are spending a lot of money probably poorly to be completely honest so what they've got a tower they can do who cares who actually cares at the end of the day that money is obviously something the company covets it's going to keep the the game running for however much longer it's going to run for and without things like that it would make people spend even less the game would close faster so what's the big deal 
What is the big deal? Rather than hating on people who have access to this tower, why not say, good for you. I can play my game for free because you spent money. Sucks to be you, good to be me. So don't complain. Just go with the flow. Enjoy the game that you've got. Don't hate on the developers for adding this. Ultimately, should they have added it? Probably not. They could have just put better rewards in the other towers. That would have been fine. That would have been fine. It would have stopped this sense of entitlement from some people or this other sense of exclusivity where we only cater to whales and that type of thing. You don't even need to be a whale. There's people who have probably spent thousands upon thousands of pounds on other characters, but they see that there's not a lot of value to them in the Legends, so they've not bought them. You know, so it's not necessarily just whales. But ultimately, they would have probably been better not adding it. But at the same time, I think sometimes it's just complaining for the sake of complaining. People just want free stuff and they think other people are getting free stuff and they're not. Well, I hate to tell you, when you've got to pay at least 80, more than, more than likely 100, and then to push it even further up to 200, you've not got it for free. It's not free stuff. It's cost you way more than it would have cost you to just buy the goddamn stuff to begin with. So, don't hate. Like I say, whales do stupid things in these games. So what if they get an extra tower to tackle? Who cares? It doesn't affect you. Not getting this stuff isn't going to hold you back. Just smile, be happy, and call it a day. Anyway, it's been annoying me. Catch you later. Peace.